Okay, so today we are going to be installing Lawler's novel series of pickups. This is my Prisma Sunset, and it has Lawler Low Wind Imperial Humbuckers in it, which are fantastic humbuckers. It even has the um, custom Prisma wood veneer on the top, and it was awesome that Prisma and Lawler worked together to make those enclosures happen for these. So this is by no means a swapping out the pickups because I don't like them. It's more of a um, an exploration of the other tones I can get from this uh, guitar. So this is a alder body. You know, when it comes to pickups, I think alder body is kind of more used to seeing uh, single coil type situations, um, but it's been really fun to explore the humbucker side of things. However, uh, enter Lawler Pickups. They are making a line of pickups called the Novel Series, and the Novel Series basically takes other species of pickups and it puts them into a, a humbucker route compatible size. And so this is the Novel P90, or the Novel 90 as they call it. Really solid, a lot of heft to it. And this is the Novel Gold Foil. So, uh, just recently I installed, um, not, not installed, I had Prisma build me a custom baritone guitar that had uh, Lawler Gold Foil pickups in them, and I was completely blown away at the awesome tone and the feel in that uh, Prisma Dillinger model. If you haven't seen that, you can see it on my channel or my Instagram. I've featured it and I have a video up showing it paired with uh, Milkman Amp and a few other awesome uh, bits of kit. Um, and so it's pretty cool that um, they make a foil that slides right into a humbucker route, perfectly sized. So on this configuration, I'm a big fan of gold foil neck tones. And so we're gonna go for that. And I got the black cover and it I think it'll go really well with the pickup cover on uh, this Prisma Sunset. So I am going to miss the wood veneer. Um, I suppose over time, if I really want to go for wood, probably do another custom job uh, with Lawler. Maybe they would uh, entertain me uh, if I asked them to and work with Prisma again. But I think for now, it's just fun to do some of my own work here and um, see how they fit. And if I like the tone before I go to that length. So. Um, just want to thank Lawler for sending these over and thank Prisma for making such a wonderful guitar. So uh, yeah, this is, the this is the Prisma Sunset model. It's got the mastery trim, uh, mastery bridge. It's even got these custom knobs uh, with the wood veneer inlay. Um, and, uh, even the dots on the neck are uh, skateboard wood, uh, hard rock maple. And this beautiful guard is by Deco Boom. So I think that guard is going to pair pretty well with this look. Let's see how. What do you think? Did that look pretty good? Yeah, I think so. All right. So I've just been uh, doing a little bit of YouTube University <laughs> and uh, trying to learn how to do this. I've installed a few sets of pickups now. I've repaired a friend's guitar, but I'm by no means a soldering expert at this point. But I think I know enough to be dangerous. So I think the first thing we have to do is uh, take off the strings. So let's go ahead and do that. Probably time to take the mastery bar out, get it out of the way. Get that out of the way here. I think what we should do is to turn it over first. Let's get our back control hatch open so we can see what's going on. This way, just a smidge. There we go. Okay, great. Always make sure when you're taking stuff apart that you have like a little dish to store the parts in because you will be happy you did when you don't lose things. Screwdriver so I can pop the control plate open. There we go. Awesome. There's the inside. Look, they even did the uh, the back control plate with the deco boom style. It's just 
gorgeous design by Prisma Guitars. Have impeccable taste. Um, and here is the inside of the guitar cavity. So as you can see, um, here's the volume pot, here's the tone pot, and this is the pickup selector switch. And all of that is routed and connected to the jack through the wall here. So I also had a treble bleed installed on the volume. So that's what that is right there on top of the volume pot. So it looks like we have a shielded vintage wire that's coming from the front pickup. Just gonna flip this one over. Great. And now we can, uh, now that we've seen what the control area cavity looks like, we can actually start unscrewing these pickups. So there's one pickup screw. Now, these pickup screws are a different color than the other screws, which is always helpful. Now let's take a look under the bridge pickup, see what we have here. Okay. So, here's our original Lawler Low Wind Imperial Bridge from 2019 that I worked with Prisma and Lawler to put in. And basically, I think we just need to unscrew this from the housing. And... Let's pick this up again. This is where it's nice to have a shop towel so you don't scratch your guitar, but I think I can handle this. Okay, did we make it out? Yeah, there we go. Now the spring just went flying, which is great. Let's go ahead and put that back on here. Now I'm gonna try and just match the way Lawler set up this wire coming out of this side because the P90s actually, their, st their magnet studs here, they don't go to the you know neck position or bridge position, they're kind of just in the middle. So probably doesn't matter. Make sure the wires go through here. And I just dropped my spring on the other side of the table. <laughs> Hold on a moment. All right, and we're back. Here's our P90. And we're gonna put it on like that. If you have a towel around, you know, when you're working with metal above a guitar, it's a good idea to protect your investment, especially a one-of-a-kind instrument like a Prisma. All right, so that's one of the two pickups. I'll worry about it being level later. This pickup, before we're ready to go here, this wire is coming from the neck pickup and going through the bridge route this is the bridge pickup, it's going through that route, and they're both going back to the control panel. So, this is where I'm probably gonna turn this over. Towards the input jack is the bridge solder point. And then it is soldered to ground it with the shielded wire onto the top of the volume pot. So that means in order to get this bridge pickup out, I need to use my soldering iron to get this cable free of the ground connection on the back of the potentiometer. And then I also have to free this wire up over here. Let's see if we got that. So I'm using um, 6040, pretty much an Amazon special though. Now you, you all might let me know in the comments what your preferred solder is, but this is what I've been using. It's been working great. So got this all ready. Now I always got to tin the tip. I got a nice moist sponge here and an area to kind of scrub the tip off and spread out the. There we go. Nice and, and yes, I have my ceiling fan on, so I'm not just breathing it straight in my face because we don't want that either. Okay, so this is a tighter control cavity than I've worked with before, so that's going to be a challenge, but 
I do have some tweezers here. Okay, so we got our tweezers. Essential, you know, it's it really helps to hold things still and also not expose your fingers to the uh, extreme heat because even the components you're soldering can get really hot. We are gonna take off the bridge lead. Just like that, comes right off. Now we're gonna bend up the treble bleed gently. I'm gonna grab the lead here. It's grounded to the pot. See if we can just pull it right off. Just like that. Beautiful. Now I like to do one pickup at a time so that I make sure I know what I'm working with. Now let's grab this pickup before it falls because it's not connected to anything anymore. Let's turn this back over. So, here's the old pickup. All right, so is this labeled bridge? That's my next question. It is labeled bridge, so I don't have to use any electrical tape. It's really great. Okay, so this is gonna go on this side. We're gonna feed it in. This was a pretty tight fit to actually make it through. Now this is where I might take a picture of what I had before, just so I know what to do in case it gets misplaced or in case I mess up. So now, just need my tweezers again and undo this. Done. And then, treble bleeds a little bit in the way here. Don't want to scald that. Let's take off the ground to the back of the volume pot here. gentle tug there with the tweezers. So let's flip this back over again. Great. Now I should be able to pull this right through. I got it. All right, so now the wire is out. Yeah, I think I better take the guard off. is such a beauty. I had wanted a Prisma guitar for probably going on, oh, I don't know, five years by the time I grabbed this. I first saw them at NAMM and I couldn't get over their aesthetics and their product design. Nick Porfard is probably one of my favorite designers in the world across any kind of good, not just guitars. He makes amazing furniture as well. You should uh, go check out his work when it comes to furniture design. Okay, so I think I got, is that it for the guard? Yeah. Let's see, there it goes. Uh, first time for everything here. Okay. So now, let's just turn it over there. And there is the bottom of our neck pickup. So now all we have to do is what we already did last time. Take out the mounting screws and the springs. And just make sure that we don't accidentally drop anything that's metal onto our beautiful guitar body. We should be fine here. If you've never tried Lawler Imperial humbuckers, these are the low wind variety, which are lower output. In general, I am a big fan of lower output pickups. The more vintage the sound, the more you have my attention usually. But um, these are very, very good humbuckers. And so I'll be keeping these in a nice Ziploc baggie so that I can reinstall them when I feel like it. Pretty excited to be able to have that level of autonomy. All right, got both pickups out. 
And judging by <laughs> my other Prisma guitar that has gold foils in it, it looks like the big circles go towards the fretboard, go towards the neck. The little circles go the other way. So that means that I need it to go like this. So that means that when I turn it over, it needs to be like that. Great. So now let's line up the screws. All right, so now I gotta take this lead wire and I gotta route it back through the hole that was drilled here. Beautiful. Great. Now I can put the, I can actually just put the guard back on right now. That looks pretty cool. And what I've learned, this is really basic, but just put a few screws back in. You don't need to put all the screws in because if you do, you have to take it out in reverse course and then you're gonna slow yourself down. So two or, two or three screws is fine. And the other part that you should know if you're doing this is that you should never tighten screws too much when it comes to screwing into the body of the guitar. Just snug them. You don't want to strip the holes and you definitely don't want to come down with too much pressure because you'll crack the finish. All right, so we got three screws in there. That'll keep it still. You can push this through the body now. And luckily this one came right through, look at that. Got our neck pickup cable here. And we already have a great place to solder the ground onto. All we have to do is tin the wire, really. Now, let's make sure our station. A little fresh solder on there. Great, now it's sufficiently tinned. Now, according to the YouTube University classes I was just taking, we're gonna want to kind of... This is where you need tweezers to hold the wire still so you don't burn yourself. I'll see if I can do this so that you all can see. Move that treble bleed out of the way, but I'm going to want to heat the solder on the pot up so that it's fluid. Another thing I learned from watching all these YouTube videos is the, the more you can push with the side, almost like you're drawing a broad stroke with the side of a pencil, the better off you're going to be with um, heat transfer and heat transfer is a big thing with soldering. You really need Okay, so I may need to put some solder on the wire to begin with. Let's see. Okay. Good. back. Now I got some fresh solder on the volume pot and I got some fresh solder on the, on the wire. It's great. Now I'm just going to bend the cable out of the way. This is like a vintage braided wire and the actual sleeve of it is the ground. So you just ground it to the pot and that grounds it, I guess. And I guess we'll find out if I'm doing it right, won't we? I was watching told me to kind of ground it to both sides and have a nice join. Now I don't think that's going anywhere. Really solid. Now this, I need to solder to 
Now this is where it's good to take some solder and tin tin the actual end of the lead of the pit, the hot lead of the pickup. Man, it's a tough angle. This cavity's really small. sure I kind of cover it with enough solder looking good to make this cable as thin as possible on the table. Before I do anything else, I want to turn this back over because I don't want the pickup banging around to hurt the front of the guitar. Let's put that back here. Now I can pull this lead all the way through because I don't need a bunch of slack. Basically, I uh, got the pickup seated here and I pulled the wire through the cavity. Now again, I can just go find two of my four pickup screws here and just screw those in to keep it in place for now until I'm sure that we're set. I gotta say that looks pretty good with that guard. I'm really happy, aesthetically. It's very important to me. Let's turn this over. Now, this one has to kind of loop around this side and ground. Got a lot of extra wire. Lawler probably gives you enough to have some excess, but I may have to clip this. Maybe like that. <laughs> okay. Clipped. Okay, I need 
need to bring the towel closer again. Don't get lazy. Just a little bit of tin solder on the wire here so it can bond to the pot. It's kind of close to the pot here. Hold it in place till it dries. I also heard that you don't want to be blowing on solder to try and cool it down quicker. Not recommended. Okay, so that's on there. I'm gonna try and solder the other side of this. Okay. Okay, so I also read you can kind of slide the soldering iron kind of on the side like you're coloring broadly with the side of a pencil and use it and spin it to kind of make the solder bond in a broader way, which is pretty cool. Okay, that seems to be on. Moment of truth. Time to plug the guitar in again. Let's see what we got. That's a good sign. Good sign. All the positions work. Cool. So I think we got these babies installed. I just got to put the new strings on and uh, get the pickup heights adjusted and put it back together. So thanks for sticking with me through this. Next thing you know, we'll be uh, hearing how it sounds. So thank you very much. See you soon.